Okay, so the next lock we have, it's also sent by Mr. Paul Crossdale. It's called, I think it's called the block lock. Oh, it's the baton. The baton block lock. Got some shiny packaging there. I don't want my reflection in it too much, but there's nothing on the back. It says solid extruded brass case, ball bearing locking mechanism. Test that out. Five, if it is a ball bearing, it shouldn't be shimmable. Five brass pin tumblers. Hardened steel rotary shackle. Yeah, it just means the shackle can turn freely to prevent cutting and so on. This is size 2.75 inches. It says item number 770. Price unknown. Alright, let's have a go anyway. Just take it out of there. Nice. Let's see if I get to keep this one. This would be a nice addition to the um, mono block slash shutter shutter lock collection because I don't have a baton there. Nice bidding on that. Very tough there. And it is key retaining by the looks of it. Let us push this in here. Okay, so we can see it's got a ball bearing in there, so that's true. Very nice. So, Alright. Very, very strong um, spring tension on the core. And there it is, locked again. Got baton on the key. I know it's got that bidding, but I'll still try to give it a rake. Alright. Well, first we have to try to find a tensioner to fit this. And of course we do have this one, but I don't trust the flexiness of that. I'd rather use uh, something else. Let's see here, maybe, maybe a bottom of the keyway or find the top of the keyway that will fit nicely. Like this one. Use those. Alright, so it says it's a five pin or one, two, three, four, five pins. It's true. Let's get a let's get a rocker rake here. Let's see if we can rake them open or rock them open. Okay. So the first thing I will do is try to rock it, so put the rocker rake in there, add some tension, just rock like this, see if we can get him to open. So let's reset there. So I've got to overcome this spring tension first. And from there, try and hold light tension, I suppose. Um, don't know if this is going to work, so we'll try the other variation, where I push all the pins down, hold tension, and then take my rocker pick here. And rock them into position from there. Mm. Yeah, not getting much love out of this. Oh, spoke too soon. There we go. Well, we managed to rock it open. It's locked again. Okay, so a bit of skill, I think, we're required to get that to be successful. Perfect. <clears throat> well, I'll try to rake it now. So, hopefully, we're still in frame there. And again, I'll have to use this tensioner. Right. Oops. So, I'm going to try to use the snake rake. Let's see if I can get him to work. I mean, he might be more successful. Got 
Got to really use heavy tension on this. And then kind of bounce it a little bit maybe. Okay, maybe the snake rake won't do the job. But we do have Bogotas. Try the three different types. Well, that seems promising. I'm just going to stop for one second because. Again, put this guy in there. Heavy tension, overcome it. Okay, so we could rake it with our Bogotas. Perfect. Fun. Let's see if I can get the Prince and Princess picks to work on this. So what's this? Whatever that whatever one that is, I think that's the I don't know. Whatever. Let's just see if we can get this to work. Um, and get him to work. I think we almost had him. Yeah, I think we could get him to work eventually, but maybe if we use them together like this, there might be more success. <clears throat> the other one might do the better job. They're all weird to use, I have to say. Not sure if I have to rake with them like that or then I'll kind of jiggle them. But, uh, I'm sure they would open it eventually, but we're not going to waste too much time on that. Okay, let's get a hook pick. We have a hook pick. And because it's fairly wide open, I want to try use the um, Peterson, Peterson pick. So let's just put the Sparrows picks away there. Take, try and take their standard hook and use that first. So I want to try and shim that core as well. I think that might be a weakness. So let me see. One is loose. Excuse me, I'll just go over here. One is loose. <clears throat> Could be I need, I need heavier tension. So 
three, four, four, mm, one. Not hard enough for me to um, not be able to pick. I still like this lock. And uh, let me see what else. Yeah, I wanted to try. I'm sure I can get this to zip open. I'm not going to do that now though. And one, two, three, four, five. Let's see here. Let's just confirm it isn't bypassable. It shouldn't be. Yeah, don't believe it is. Okay, hang on a second. I'm gonna grab a shim here because I want to see can we shim this core? There you go, you can see its shim goes in because we don't have a lip at the bottom there. There's no little lip inside there. Come on, camera focus on the lock, please. Inside the keyway, you can see there's no lip. What do I mean by a lip? Let me find another lock here with a lip. Take this little Yale. You can see this Yale. Look at the bottom of the keyway there. If we can get into focus again. There, you can see there's a little lip just at the bottom there just there is a little lip that stops the shim going in so this guy doesn't have the lip so let us try shim him shim our core hang on zoom out right so i'm going to put that there where the pins are we shall exploit this weakness all right, let's see if we can get that shim to go down so that we can open this all day long. Okay, I think he went in a little bit. Yeah, there we go, that's one. Two, trying to get to number three. Just going in. There we go. Feels like the shim's binding against the pins. Let's try and give it a little rake. Gently press against it. There we go, it went in again. That last pin is kind of a high cut. Okay, he might be in there now. So let's just test this and see. Yeah. So we can see we shimmed that core and popped them open. So while he's in that position. Just reus put that shim back down there. We don't even need it in there, it's open, so lots of uh, exploitation going on with this lock's design. But physically it's quite a nice lock in terms of the uh, design. It's got its weakness though, which can be shimmed. Even though it's got the ball bearings, they could have prevented that attack. 
So if they had the lip on there, it'd be better. And some security pins, then they've got a good lock here. That's a button picked open, etc, etc, etc. Thank you, Paul. Nice one.